Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your PC screen for free by using an application called Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. And Microsoft Expression is an application that allows you to both record your screen and record audio. And so this can come in handy for those who want to create instructional videos like I'm doing, or if you just want to record yourself playing a video game, or pretty much anything else that you want to record. And so to get started, all we're going to do is download the application. And to do so, go ahead and click on the link in the description. And we should be brought up with a page that looks like this. And so once we get to this page, go ahead and click on the download button. And then we should be brought to a new page. And we should also be prompted to download the file. So go ahead and click on save. And then we'll just let the uh, file download. And then once it's done, go ahead and click on the file. And then click on run. And now it's just setting up the, um, the installation process here. And then go ahead and click on accept, no, next, install. And so now it's going to install the screen capture codec, which is going to be recording our screen. And it's going to be installing expression encoder 4, which is going to be taking that screen capture and putting it into a file format that we can use to put in Movie Maker, Premiere Pro, uh, Vegas, or even Pinnacle Studio. And so once we do that, go ahead and click on Finish. And we can go ahead and minimize out of that window. And we should be able to open up the file. So if we click on Start, the uh, file might actually be up here already. Um, but if it's not, all you have to do is just go to All Programs, scroll down to Microsoft Expression, and then click on Microsoft Expression Encoder for Screen Capture. And so we'll get this little um, window right here. And if you look at the bottom, you might see a little bubble saying Screen Capture is limited to 10 minutes for the standard version. And that's just because this is the standard version. Um, you can record up to as many times as you want. It's just that each time you um, have a screen capture, you can the maximum amount of time that you can do it is for 10 minutes. So, for example, let's just say you're trying to make a 15-minute video, you could split it up into one 10-minute segment and one 5-minute segment. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but usually before I record my screen, I like to edit some of the settings. And so edits, to edit the settings, um, go ahead and click on the little gear. And then I, I usually like to have my frame rate be 30 frames per second. So I'm just going to make it 30. And then the quality to be 100. And then if you're going to be using a microphone during a recording, if you click on the audio tab on the top, go ahead and just select the microphone that you're going to be using. So if I were going to be um, recording something, I would just click on this microphone right here. And then I would have the bit rate be uh, 256. And so once you do that, go ahead and click on OK. And then to record, you're just going to push the little red button right here. And then it'll bring you up with a little uh, window with a little box uh, right here. Um, this is your capture window. So you can make this smaller, bigger, um, you can make it thinner or thicker. And you can also specify you know, um, a pixel dimension. So let's just say you want it to be 720, you can make it be 1280 by 720 or pretty much whatever you want. But I'm just going to have it be up in the top left corner. So I'm just going to click on record. It'll give you a little countdown. It'll make that little noise, and then it'll start recording. And so I'm just going to move this little thing here. And then I'm going to click on Stop. And then once you're done, that file will now go into a little list right here. And so let's just say you didn't like the file you just recorded. Maybe you screwed up or something. You can go ahead and click on Delete. But since I like it, I'm going to click on Send to Encoder. And then it'll start Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. And so your file is going to be uh, right here. And then you can scroll to you know a different point in the video. So that's me moving my little file around. And so now I'm ready to encode. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change the location where I'm going to um, move my video. And so to do that, if you go to Output, and you go to the job output place right here, you can change the directory. 
So click on the little um, button to the right of that. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So I'm just going to click on desktop. OK. And then to encode it, what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, encode, and then it'll start encoding. And so obviously the longer the video, the more time it'll take to encode. But since mine was a pretty short video, it's not going to take as long. And so to see the final result, if we go to our desktop, it should be in a little uh, folder. And we're just going to click on the WMV file right here. And so there it is. And like I said, you can put this video into Premiere Pro, uh, Windows Movie Maker, um, Vegas, pretty much whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it's just a really easy uh, application to use. Helps out. I know it helps me out when I have to record on my PC. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys would like it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get to record your PC screen using Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.